nothing. My What's lord, the meaning please. of this interruption? This is no time Jarl Balbrook is not receiving I visitors. I have news from Helgen about the well, dragon attack. explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yes, I had a great view while the Imperial trying to cut my head off. Dragon destroyed Helgen last I saw it was heading this way. Why, Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your... Yeah, of course, talents, there's always a quest. Perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Well, hello. Cause trouble in White Run, and I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. Let me headbutt you, fucker. Man, you're a slow ass. Move your slow ass. Move. Come on. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Uh, alright, where am I going and what am I fetching? Just tell me what you need me to do. What does this have to do with dragons? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Uh, true, true, I can learn the magic. A prospective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winter. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I was going to have a look at spells you can sell. So, you wish to master the arcane arts. Alright, so let's take a look at what he's got here. Book-wise, uh, Bound Battle Axe creates a magic battle axe for 120 seconds. Bound Sword, Calm, Candlelight, uh, Clairvoyance, uh, Conjure Familiar, uh, Conjure Flame, uh, Atronish? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Courage, Fast Healing, Fear, Fire Ruin, Fire Bolt, Flames, Frost Rune, Frost Bite, Fury, Healing, Healing Hands, Ice Spike, Lesser Ward, Lightning Bolt. Uh, you, you get the idea. Uh, does he have anything decent here for me? Uh, by the way, these um, petty soul things that he says here, like the soul gems, uh, these are to be equipped onto your either your weapons or your armors and stuff, and they can basically give it a boost like uh increasing frost um damage or frost um resist resistance or you know you can have like shock damage put to onto a sword or something like that you get the general gist uh, these are basically their power cells for lack of a better word you know they're the things that power the um the weapon to do these things uh but i don't actually have any at the moment so there's not much point in those uh 
An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Well, you must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Fair enough. This is a priority Pharaoh now. with you. The Anything we can use to fight man. this dragon. Neither am I, come to think of it. We need Ugh, I hate it when they talk Before over each other. Late. Of course, Jarl Valgroof. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Thank you. And then if you don't mind, fucking off so I can start stealing your shit. Now you're gonna be a pain, aren't you? Oh, I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Vault Barrow. I'll have your petty soldier, thank you. Ooh, you got some money. What's this? Nords of Skyrim? Nah, I'm good. Common soul gem. Map. Which I can't actually interact with whatsoever. Uh, anything? Nah, just a clothes thing. Not really a lot in this uh, particular spot, to be perfectly honest. Right, so we're gonna head out here. Uh, we're actually gonna fast travel back to Riverwood because uh, there's actually another quest I can pick up. Um, oops. Uh, basically, just involves me going to the exact same place that the Jarl wants me to go. So yeah, we're gonna head to Riverwood first. Oh, chicken! All right, it's so a trader. That's not the trader's house. I believe this is traders. Yes, it is the Riverwood Trader. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures. No theatrics. No thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry, you had to hear that. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in, but we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Alright, so basically I'm picking this... Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. Very well, then. Come on, Carmilla. You gonna open the door? Unfortunately, the NPCs can be a little bit annoying with their fucking uh, scripting. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. I think she's glitched. This way. I'm pretty sure she's glitched right now. Oh no, she's following me now. She's still following me or not? Yeah, she's not. Unfortunately, her script is a little fucking. There we go. I don't know why she keeps stopping for fuck's sake. Are you coming or not? I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. 
I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. Yeah, you can tell the script is not exactly perfect in Skyrim. Even after all this time it's been released, even with patches and shit like that. Ooh, somebody's been fishing. I believe this is as far as she goes. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such Trying to a go child. for a screenshot here. All right, thank you for that, my dear. All right, so basically we just, as I said, there's two quests you can do uh, together here, which is why I've done them like this. So I am going to take a very quick break here, guys, because I am in desperate need for a piss, and I need to make sure that everything is recording well. Fine, and that's fine as well. I think. Okay, I'm gonna get started again as soon as I switch up the game. As in, let's put this over here. Oh, that'll be right there. Right, so as soon as I press like a button or something and change the screen here, I'm gonna technically cut here. So, okay, we're back, guys. I apologize for that, but I was bursting for the toilet. Alright, so we're going to head to Bleak Falls Barrow now, I believe it is. Uh, Black Falls Barrow, sorry. Alright, as you know, we took the right path over there to go to the uh, White Run earlier. Uh, this time we're going to be taking this path. And I, I haven't really talked about my experience with the game and stuff like that yet, but I fall... I fell in love with this game when I first played it. I mean... Uh, Oblivion was my uh, first experience with this franchise, but god damn, Skyrim just fucking blew me away. I will s Here's the thing. I'll say the Oblivion's... That Oblivion's story is better than Skyrim's, but... Holy shit, the gameplay in Skyrim is just... Fucking phenomenal. Give me Skyrim's gameplay with Oblivion's story, and you have probably my favorite game of all time right there. I listen to this music right now, it's so peaceful. And Sam, uh, going a little bit faster than I usually do. I usually spend some time going around stealing down of every single person's pocket. Not doing that right now. There are people up there, by the way. I'm gonna get a little bit closer here. It's usually a bit closer than I usually get. You can see I'm going to be getting my sneak skill up anyway, so I don't really need to do that. Alright, there's a person right there. I didn't actually manage to hit him. I'm hoping they're not going to come for me. I think they'll stay far enough away. And obviously that thing in the center, if that eye opens up entirely, that means they can see me. Uh, because it's not quite fully open, they know somebody's there, but they don't know where they are. And obviously, if you have that and you manage to keep in, then you will increase your uh, your level a little bit here. And these guys are still moving around, so I'm gonna wait until they stop. Uh, I 
completely missing. I'm usually a pretty fucking good shot with this as well. Motherfucker. I'm not moving forward until I actually hit this guy. If nothing else, it'll increase my sne sneak skill a little bit every time, so... There is that to be thankful about, and I actually don't have that many arrows. I've basically progressed to level 2 here. So uh, we're gonna level up. Uh, I usually just level up stamina for a long time. I just purely feel that's how I generally tend to play, so I can keep... Well, I'm a bit of a hoarder, essentially, so... Alright, bows do 20% more damage, I may as well get that. So, he's gonna go back there. Where's the other guy? Ah, oh, there he is. Got him. Fuck. Fuck, he's... he's they see me, they see me. Yep. Sorry. I'm sorry about that, but Come on. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna hoard whatever this guy's got for now. That did not go particularly well. I got a little bit overzealous. Alright, where is he? Uh, you're behind there, are ya? I'm gonna be able to do much to me behind there, buddy. Oh, you can still see me, can you? I oh, got no, fuck you. Die already! Like take your stuff. No. There you go. Jesus Christ, that took a long time. All right, thankfully I will pick up a good few um, arrows there. Let's go see what they've got uh, hidden away here in their little uh, hideaway. Uh, take the coin purse, obviously, and get some more gold. Because I accidentally bought all that shit earlier and not realized how expensive it was. That somebody owes child support, apparently. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Let's run down. Let's run down and just stay hidden. Please just kill this guy without getting seen. Why? That's close enough. Unfortunately, it's not letting me even get. Every time I go in, he, he's got to go up the fucking stairs at some point. Fuck it. We'll be a man about this. What was that? Time to end this little cave. Well, that was pretty easy. Alright, I think I've still got this on a debt, actually. Yeah, I do. We'll take it down to Apprentice for now. I've got to change it back after the giant fight. There's some tank or, uh, tankards I'm not really interested in. I don't think there's anybody else in here. Is there anything up the top? Yes, we've got a chest. 53 gold, not bad. Uh, there's some like um, skills you can pick up later where chests will have more gold in when you um, check them. Unfortunately, that's not going to be too much later, unfortunately. Also, increasing your stamina doesn't just uh, increase your load capacity, it also increases your, uh, the amount of time you can sprint and stuff. Which is always a helpful tool. Obviously, we saw this place earlier. Uh, the guy we left uh, the place with, obviously, pointed this place out to us. Somebody thinks there is somebody over there. 
There's a bunch of people here actually. That's somebody over here? No, that's not. That's part of the decor. Try and get a higher vantage point if we can. If somebody knows I'm here. Actually, I can't see them. Which is definitely a problem. Oh, I see somebody. Is that somebody up there? I think it is. But, we're gonna attempt to get this guy when he comes back up. You know what, fuck it, this. I'm too far away. I need to get a bit closer. If I could zoom in, like if I had like a slightly increased archery skill at the moment, I could probably do this a little bit better. That's it. I'm going to be playing this not in a rush or anything, so... And yeah, this is obviously part of the new structure as well, so I don't have to rush through games like I was like with other RPGs and stuff before. Let them do what they need to do. Somebody's right around this corner. Oh, I thought they were. And so it's a good way to increase your sneak skill as well, so. There's some interesting uh, voices in this game in the fact that a lot of them are very, very similar. Someone there? Huh? Oh shit, they saw me, they saw me, they saw me, they saw me. Oh come on, I'm hitting her and she's not falling off the fucking thing here. Okay, then this was a bad idea, but never mind. You can't hit me from down there. Or up there, I should say. Ah, there you are. Oh, nice shot. Oh, got him in the fucking arm. Somehow that kills him. I'll take it. Alright, I'll take the arrows, obviously. The arrows are probably the most important thing to pick up on. Uh, for me, anyway. Uh, up the gold. I'm trying to wait. Oh, that is actually a bit better than mine, so we'll equip that. Get the arrow. Ooh, copper and onyx thingy. Armor, I think that's it. I believe that's all of them. At least on top of the hill here. <laughs> 